Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Speedman. So I begin by launching my ID. And then I press new product. Make sure to select the Maven uh, Java application. And then we name the product. In this case I take the name Speedman example. Press finish. So when the product opens, it will begin by showing you the palm.xml file, which is the product file in the Maven product. Uh, and if it doesn't show up automatically, you can find it under product files palm. So this is where we're going to add the Speedman dependencies. So begin by adding the dependencies tag. And add a group ID, artifact ID, and a version. So the group ID is com.speedman. The artifact ID is runtime, the speedment runtime that we need to run the application. And then we set the version, and I'm going to take the latest version. Then uh, we need to add the uh, database dependency. So to be able to connect to a database, we need a connector of some kind. And in this case, I have a MySQL database. So I'm going to add that. So the MySQL connector has similar properties. I use the latest version of that as well. We also need to set the type of the Speedman dependency to POM, since Speedman consists of a number of different modules, and this is the uh, concatenation of them all. And then, uh, for the sake of uh, user friendliness, we want to add the Speedman plugin to allow us to generate code directly from the POM by using a Maven goal. So I'm going to add a build section. And then a plugins. And then I'm going to add the Speedman plugin. So the group ID is just as before, this com.speedman. And the artifact ID is the Speedman Maven plugin. And then I take the same version as the runtime dependency. So if I now press the product and select it, then in NetBeans I will see in my navigator uh, window that I now have access to a number of new Maven goals called Speedman Clear, Speedman Generate, Speedman Reload, and Speedman Tool. And these are used to uh, control your Speedman product. So in this case, since we want to create an empty product, I'm going to double click on the Speedman Tool. So this opens up the connection dial. Even if we have not installed any software on our computer, Maven will resolve the dependency from the Maven Central and allow us to connect to a database in a graphical environment. So I'm going to select my SQL database, enter my super secret password, and then name the schema that I want to connect to. And in this case, I have a database called employees. And press connect. So now when Speedman launches, you will see that I have a number of things on my screen. On the left side, you can see an overview of the database with all the schemas and tables and columns, and things like that, uh, that it found in my MySQL database. And on the right side, I have different configuration options that I can do to control the code generation. And if I press different nodes here, you'll see that the context switches on the right side, so that enabling me to configure whatever I want to in uh, my build. But right now we're going to use the default configuration and just press generate. And you can see that 67 files have been generated successfully. So we can now close down the Speedman tool and look at the source packages in my products. And here you can see that I now have a number of different source files, everything from POYOs uh, for entities and managers to an actual application class. So I'm now set to start writing my application.